You too. What did you just use there to get into Rainier National Park? Again, our America the Beautiful Pass. Um, if you've watched our prior videos, you'd see, um, we talk about this every time we go into the national parks, $80 for an annual pass. Um, and we were just trying to count. I think we've used it seven times, or at least seven different parks. And every time we go to the parks, we usually go in for multiple days. Um, if you buy just a one day pass, it's $35. Uh, for a single day entrance so if you know you're going to go multiple times get the pass it's so worth it and it makes it super easy super quick to go through Alright, so we just uh, got done at what, Christine Falls? Yes. Christine Falls? And heading down the mountain, and it's just sopped in with clouds today. But now all of a sudden, Rainier just popped its head out. And um, normally they say there's times where there's weeks that could go by where you don't even see the mountain because it's so sopped in with uh, clouds. And we're just getting a really lucky break here to be able to see it um, just poking out of these clouds, and it's absolutely beautiful. Please don't feed or approach wildlife. There are many reasons that feeding. We're approaching wildlife. Does the animal more harm than good? I'll hold it for no. you. <laughs> no, let's see what you want to say. Come on, I'm trying to give you some light here. All right, good morning. We are at, ooh, that's spooky. We are at Reflection Lake. Uh, this is one of the uh, iconic spots where you can uh, photograph Mount Rainier or the reflection in the lake. So we're trying to find exactly where we need to go. So we are going to go for a hike in the dark and see if we can find out. All right, so that was a huge success. I'm glad we got up at uh, 4.30 in the morning to get here because uh, it's gonna get colder, windier, and then once that water starts to ripple and do the pictures aren't the same. So absolutely magnificent sunrise, unbelievable. One in a million. Yeah. Um, the colors were unbelievable and um, it doesn't last long. I mean, you're yeah. talking 10 minutes and the color changed and now it's just a, a normal sky. And that was fantastic. So the neat part about Reflection Lake is um, even if you don't want to see the photo, let's just say you want to come for the sunrise and just see that view, which is fantastic you don't you hike less than a couple hundred yards cool part is when we drove in this morning we had no idea where the mountain even was so we passed it wow um and then we just coming back and that is that's mind blowing look at these peaks over here too yeah this place is just magnificent oh, so yeah. definitely uh you have to add this to your bucket list if you love uh, nature and mountains and whatever Dang. all right so we're at narada falls which is just up from Reflection Lake as you're heading up to uh, the Paradise Inn and uh, looks pretty spectacular. Of course, just like any national park, the trails are absolutely beautiful. You can't beat national park when it comes to maintaining the trails and what have you. So. So we're on Skyline Trail. Uh, how many miles to the summit-ish? Couple? Uh, it was two to Panorama Point. Two to Panorama Points, which we're hoping to get to, but boy, it's strenuous. It's straight up that mountain. Uh, I'm only down like three quarters of a mile. Yeah, if you're, like this. if you're a big hiker, probably no problem for you, but we haven't hiked for a while. Kim? And we don't ever hike at 6,000 feet. Yeah, so it's... <laughs> This has been a little rough, but we're uh, trying to make the best of it. But here's your view. All right, still on the Skyline Trail. 
It's been uh, a tough one. It's uh, not for the faint of heart. It is rated as strenuous and uh, it's not lying. <laughs> so now we're getting to what looks to be hopefully the hardest part and be done. Level off and start heading down, but uh, this is getting very steep. So if you're not uh, fit for hiking a couple miles straight up a mountain, I'd skip this one. But if you can make it, absolutely beautiful trail. You can't, you're not gonna find a better view. So as you can see, we're definitely getting to a uh, pretty crazy part of the trail. It's pretty cool. The and the fact that it's got this cool rock face, very natural type rock trail views are to die for, which you could do. So try not to fall off. But it's it's pretty wide. It's not it looks more dangerous than it is. Alright gonna be very hard to make out, but there's a marmot out there and usually they'd be hibernating right now but this one's out snacking away but look at this there's a toilet built into the mountain dude it is built into the rocks not that i ever wanted to like show people a toilet before but this is kind of cool look at this the whole the, the wall is the rock Wow, that's crazy. That's okay, insane. so here's the toilet. Can I go out? And here's your view. <laughs> that's cool. All right, so now we got a view of Rainier again. We're trying to make it. I know it seems like it might be going for a while now because you'd be watching this and you'll be done in 30 seconds, but just know that we've been at this for a few hours and it's still yeah, going. It's been now. Yeah, we keep layering, so jacket on, jacket off, yeah. sweatshirt on, sweatshirt off. So bring a few layers. Make sure you have some good hiking boots. Bring layers and a backpack to carry your layers. Yeah, very true. All right, so it looks like uh, we are finally starting our way down. It's uh, still another 2.7 miles, so I think it's 2.7 miles up, 2.7 down, so it's a good 5 to 6 mile hike. Um, and it was rough. I mean, it was absolutely beautiful. I would de highly recommend it if you can pull it off and you can do it, but um, just know it's going to be a pretty tough hike. Even going down, um, it's a pretty steep, rocky decline, so we're kind of curious to see how that's going to go, and yeah. we'll let you know when we get there. But From what we can we're heading down. From what we can see though, it does look pretty flat, like it's it's well, you know, like yeah. it's wide around here. There was, was definitely rocky coming up that side. But this looks, so far for what we can see, zigzagging down the mountain. Looks like it's safer. We'll see. We've come to a crossroad. Fork in the road, dude. Well, he said this is all the meadow, so I think we should go this way. We have nothing else to do. Yeah. I think this is where he said they see bears sometimes. Yeah, he said Well, we finished. We survived. That was uh, quite the hike. So if you come here, definitely recommend the Skyline Trail. It's absolutely magnificent. Shots of uh, the mountain, meadows. People saw bears. We saw deer, a marmot. Uh, absolutely one of the weird best birds. hikes we've ever done. We yeah, some weird birds. birds. We did. I don't know what they were. Yeah, we did um, some hikes in the Tetons in uh, Yellowstone, which are awesome as well. But these, this is just as good as any of those hikes that we did. So. I uh, can't believe that we haven't been up here before, only being a few hours away from home, but we'll definitely be uh, coming more. So anyhow, that is uh, it for today. 
uh, at least for this part of the trail, and then we'll see what else we can find to get ourselves in trouble. Food first, though. Yeah, finally at the lodge, <laughs> which has been a long hike. We're ready to eat some food for sure. So, All right, so we're back over here in Longmire now, so we're going to go ahead and uh, tour this area a little bit. So if you stay at the Paradise Inn, then you have that Skyline Trail just right there. So that's awesome. If you stay down here in Longmire, Long, Longmire? Longmire, yep. you stay down here in Longmire, it's it's a ways from that trail. 13 miles. 13 miles, but you but it's get... 15 mile an hour corners, 25 yeah. mile an hour corners. Take some time. Yeah. But look at this view that these guys get if you stay here in Longmire. It's, you can't, well, no, because that's a beautiful view there too. Anyway, so the two beautiful <laughs> views is my point. If you stay in the National Park, they put you in the most ideal spots, but check this out. So as you can see, Mount Rainier is just right outside your window. I mean, it's absolutely amazing that you actually could stay here and just wake up and have that view, of course, if you can see it, which isn't always the case, but today you can surely see it. It couldn't be any more sunny. Hello, how you doing? So we started here and see this is where those, they crisscross and we kept going out mm. and then out and then went up to Panorama Point. And then we came this way, back. Hmm. And we went down here for the lake. Yep. All right, so it's dinner time. And um, you don't have very many options. So if you're staying in the uh, southwest uh, entrance like we are, you basically have the town of Ashford, which is where we are now. And very few restaurants. The ones that are, uh, the odd part about it is they don't, open on they're not a lot of them aren't open on mondays so here we're going to base camp uh i think it's a brewery pizza burgers things of that nature uh they're only open till seven uh it's six o'clock now so we have an hour to try to uh get our food and have a couple drinks now after those uh, long hikes and long day today uh but again just uh, be no i think there was one ukrainian restaurant open yep. the other um huckleberry thing or whatever yeah, that was closed close. Um, and then the Copper Creek. Copper Inn Creek. Yep. So a couple, like maybe three restaurants in town. So uh, just keep that in mind uh, when you're coming to town that you'll be limited on food this time of year. All right. Good morning, everybody. Day two. We are back down here in Longmire, going on a hike, uh, Rampart. Yep, Rampart Ridge. Rampart Ridge, another four to five miler. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what. We're crazy like that. I would say a tip would be if you're going to do the Skyline Trail, maybe make that your second, third, fourth day trail, not your first day trail, because uh, we are hurting. That was a rough, there was a lot of uh, incline and decline, so legs are pretty sore today. But um, we got to try to experience as much of this as we can. We also realize that you cannot explore Rain air in two days, impossible. Not you can you can maybe you drive. Can a corner. Yeah, you can maybe drive the whole thing if that's all you want to do, but it doesn't. You, I mean, there are some stops that you could do. Um, like if you think about the Tetons or Yellowstone, if you've ever been there, or Bryce, right? You can yeah. stop at all these exits and you can see everything right from the road. It's not the case here. This is a hiking uh, national park. I mean, if you want to be able to see stuff, you got to hike. In the Paradise area, you could do some of that in a couple of days. Uh, like we have and we've seen pretty much uh, uh, four of the five waterfalls i think mm -hmm. we're going to do two of the uh, really good hikes we see mount rainier today is completely different it stopped in you can't even see the mountain today so it's supposed uh, to be there but all you see are clouds gonna rain might snow today so that's why we tried to get up early again to try to get this hike done before uh, the weather really changes so we can start heading home uh, but can't say enough cool stuff but i guess that's the cool thing about coming here you never know what you're going to get right perfect day yesterday that's and then beautiful. today yeah, not even close to the same. I don't see any blue up there. So what are you seeing here on so, the map? So, on the map. So this is the Nisqually entrance where we came in. Um, right now we're here at Longmire. But it shows the red is the road. So it goes all the way from west yeah, to you, east. You can go to that. And then up to north. And then it comes the northeast. Oh, the and then you have to turn around and come back out. So there isn't, oh. this red doesn't go all the way around the park. So it's not like some parks like... Yellowstone has roads all over, you know, throughout it, or the Tetons has, has a main road that goes mainly through the whole park. This is the mountains in the middle, and the road is like this, and mm. that's it. You can come in up here, the, the north entrance, um, the northwest, There's, but these roads, they're not, it doesn't show red, they're only open seasonally. So um, there's very limited driving. 
can't can't get to a good portion of of the park without hiking it. So this trail that we're going on now, this rampart trail, is one here in Longmire uh, that goes through the old growth. And when you come out, you'd have a really cool view of Rainier, uh, which we probably won't, but who knows? There's some blue sky. Oh, there is blue sky. Over here. So are coming this way. when we come out, we might have Ooh. we might have something to look forward to. And so we begin our ascent. It says about two miles of uphill. So uh, here we go. Yeah, this should be great. I'm not sore already. <laughs> I'm gonna stay down here. You just let me know how it is. <laughs> and if you don't think there are bears in Rainier, you're wrong, because people actually saw one yesterday on the Skyline Trail. They do say that most of the time they're out deep in the wilderness, so you will not come across them, but better safe than sorry. All right, so this is the first opening we've seen in a while. It's actually not dark and we can see some light. You can actually see us on camera. Anyway, uh, Kim did mention too, we we're talking about this is a, a black diamond hike, which means it's very strenuous. Like we talked about, it's straight up the hill. We started way down there. <laughs> Definitely a tough hike as well. So we'll be uh, interested to see what we feel like tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, you can't hear a thing. We yeah, literally a little bit of the water from down below. Yeah, I mean we have this whole trail to ourselves, and uh, you can hear you know some birds and some squirrels and stuff, but it's almost dead, eerie silent. It's cool. I'm glad it's not dark like that time. Cause that'd be really scary. Out yeah, <laughs> scary enough when it gets dark inside here. Oh, it's a plane. We've been hiking for an hour and a half straight uphill and this is literally literally the very first downhill that we've seen since we started there's not much to it mm -mm. And but that's okay it's a downhill and my guess is it's going back uphill hey how's that feel weird <laughs> my legs don't know what to do oh so that would be rainier right there wow that would be quite the view Come so out of the you, trees, turn the corner. Yeah, boom. you couldn't even see it from in those trees. But had you uh, had it had it been out today, yeah. that would have been absolutely amazing. Especially with all these flowers and stuff. I'm gonna hang for just a few, and we'll sit on one of these rocks, see if it happens to clear up. But it's right behind this tree here, big old giant Mount Rainier, fourteen thousand feet, and you cannot see a thing. Yesterday, not a cloud in the sky. That's how quickly it turns. So how quickly things change, right? We literally, I mean, it was like two minutes since he turned that off and we were saying, oh, it can change in like 15 minutes time. And all of a sudden it's raining. Double green camp. Longmire, two miles. Let's go to Indian Henry's. So this Wonderland Trail, that's 93 miles around Mount Rainier. That's incredible. And as you can see, Look how beautiful this trail is. Yeah. And it goes through the whole, I mean, imagine how many different parts of, I mean, you go in rainforest, then you go to different sections. You go to up in the, uh, where the glaciers are and everything, so. Well, and what's cool is it shows there's different camps along the way. Because obviously oh, yeah. you're not gonna do 93 miles in a day. And so you, you know, you don't just have to find a random place in the woods to camp. They actually, there are designated campgrounds yeah, cool. in the wilderness. All right, so we so have we've two miles. Three miles. So it says Longmire's three miles the way we came, and now it's two to get down. So mm -hmm. we're over halfway done. Yeah, and it's all and downhill from here. We're going down. Thank goodness. Yay!
So we're just getting to the end of the trail and the awesome thing is we're starting to get into uh, this old growth and these trees are unbelievable. I mean, they're like basically like redwood. These are old growth, old growth Douglas fir, but look at the circumference on them things. That is awesome. Look at the water droplets underneath it. <gasps> that is cool. Man, this goes for a long way. And it's, all it is is nailed to a log underneath. Look at that right there. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, yes, we're standing in a wood pile <laughs> because we're trying to uh, get out of the rain. So we were uh, able to get that completed a couple hours. It was pretty strenuous going up. Yeah. Um, Even coming down. It was it was yes, steeper coming it started down. started getting wet. We noticed um, once we got up top, it was three miles to get up to the Wonderland Trail, but then it was two miles to get down. So it was three to get up, two to come down. So a little steeper. Um, they did a great job with the trail. Had, you know, lots of steps to, you know, stair step you down and stuff. But we're Beautiful. glad we finished when we did before the rain got too crazy, because mm -hmm. it's definitely going to get slippery up there. Yeah. So if it uh, is raining, probably wouldn't. I mean, if if it's a drizzle, you could probably do it. But if it started to pour, uh, coming down would be so muddy and slippery. Yeah. Uh, just make sure you've got <laughs> gear for that. But um, awesome trail as it started to get through. If we would have had a view of. Um, Rainier would have been awesome, yeah. but if you would have had a view of Rainier, you wouldn't have had any rain. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the end of the trail, it becomes all rainforest type in there. Everything's all mossy. There's mushrooms growing on trees. Everything's green. And if you didn't have any rain, um, it'd be kind of boring. So well, I wouldn't say boring, still cool, but right. not as neat as it would have been. So that um, ends our trip at uh, Rainier National Park. Hope you guys enjoyed our adventure. It was um, one to remember for sure. Um, can't wait to get back, honestly. Uh, it's only a couple hours, about an hour, two and a half hours two and from half hours, home. Yep, to this entrance. Um, so we really need to try to find a way to get here more often and, and try to get the sunrise section. Right. Um, there's a part up north in the northwest, which is more um, rainforest. That would be neat. Um, so yeah. this park is... We'll make multiple trips back up here. Yeah. Different times of the year. Cause definitely want to... If we're going to hit the rainforest area, you got to do those in the rain. Mm -hmm. so, we'll so if you're looking, if you only have a couple days, um, just pick a section and stay there because... There's no reason to just try to drive around this park. It's just way too big. You'll be driving for hours. You're not going to be able to enjoy it. Um, it's not like a lot of other national parks that just have a lot of pull-offs. Uh, you've got to get out and explore, and that's what this whole park is about. So if you love hiking or what have you, this is definitely the place for you. Right, and to look at a map mileage distance, it's not that far, but the roads, it's only 25. The max is 35 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And it's windy. Um, and it's super windy mm -hmm. with, you know, there's some 15-mile-an-hour turns. So looking at a map, you'd be like, oh, it's only, you know, 13 miles from Longmire to Paradise mm -hmm. won't take up more than 20 minutes. Oh, it's going to take you like 45. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay safe. We'll see you next time. Yeah.